After San Andreas, CJ was nowhere to be found. That is until now. 13 years later, Los Santos has become a playground for the criminal underworld, leaving gangs like the Grove Street families weak and small in numbers, while gangs like the Ballers thrive. I mean, why hasn't CJ stepped back in and took back Los Santos? Did he die? And if so, who is his killer? Well, it's quite simple. During the events of 1992 of Grand Theft Auto, CJ returns to Los Santos after the murder of his beloved mother which sets off a chain of events, leading CJ to partake in drive-by shootings, drug takedowns, and government activity. Striking a deal with the FIB so CJ and his brother, Sweet, could walk free. But his mom's death would be the best thing that happened to him, because it led him to millions of dollars and touring around the world as Mad Dog's manager, which plays a major role in his disappearance. You see, while in Las Venturas, Salvatore befriends Carl Johnson, who had worked in a car theft ring for his son, Joey Leone, in Liberty City. Sometime between 1987 and 1992, Salvatore employs CJ and has him kill a member of the Ferrelli crime family, Marco Ferrelli. But after this mission, Salvatore finds out about CJ's involvement in Woozy Moose Casino Heist on the Leone family. This of course upsets Mr. Leon, and he promises to kill everyone and everything close to CJ. What's up? You two-bit backstabbing piece of eggplant shit! Salvatore, nice to hear from you too. You're dead. Your friends are dead. Your family's dead. I'm gonna fuck you up and your children and your grandchildren. Well, it's been nice talking to you, but uh, I got some money that needs spending on some expensive trash, so if you excuse me. You're dead. Although it is known that he never carried out these threats, it is assumed that he packed up and moved back to Liberty City, leaving the casino behind. This brings me to theory number one. Salvatore has CJ killed. In Liberty City stories, we learn that Tony Cipriani has killed a made man and was forced to leave the city. And no, the made man is not CJ. CJ is very much alive in 1998. Tony Cipriani had nothing but respect for Mr. Leone and was up for proving himself not only to Mr. Leone, but to his mother, Ma Cipriani. As a child, she would abuse him on the regular, but it didn't just stop there. It would continue as an adult, telling him often how less of a man he was and how he would never amount to anything. This led to him proving himself in the criminal underworld, killing hundreds if not thousands of men. She would even instigate gang wars, telling them things such as You can't fool me. I know why you don't move back in here. You're running scared of some triad. Ending in him slaughtering triad members. So if he did this just to prove a point to his mom, imagine what he would do to some petty street criminal from the west coast that disrespected him. Rest in peace CJ can even be seen in GTA 4 on the wall along several other names. And even if it's just an easter egg, Thing that pokes fun at Sal getting Tony to kill CJ for the disrespectful betrayal in Los Venturas. But then again, CJ had killed over like 548 people within his own city, so I guess one day we can compare their kill counts to see who's really coming out on top. As for the GTA 4 universe, aka the HD universe, CJ has been spotted in several locations, such as GTA 4's Liberty City. He is seen on a poster board, board in the front of Light Clothing Brand. And as we know, CJ has became famous and known across the United States during this time. One fan even believes that CJ moved to Liberty City to start up a toothpaste business and get away from the gang life. If this is so, it had to be after 2001, since that's when Catalina dies. We all know that her crazy ass would have known if CJ was in town, especially since she had connections to the cartel and became the biggest drug pusher on the East Coast. But there is proof that he returned to Los Santos sometime before or during the events of GTA 5. If you go to Vespucci Beach, you can zoom in and see a photo of him on the customer chart. Also, on GTA 5's online, you can head over to Benny's and you can see the old gang tag on the wall. So is it possible that CJ came back to operate the family's low key? There is also a possibility that the FIB caught up with CJ and locked him away for life, or even worse. I mean, look at everything that CJ has done for them and took away from them. CJ has stolen a jetpack, army tank, fighter jets, and much, much more. And yeah, I know that he has given them a lot, but let's be real. The government ain't letting shit slide. Everything eventually catches up to you. It doesn't matter if you're a fool or a wise man. Nobody really knows what happened to CJ, and luckily, 
Rockstar hasn't returned the character, because if they did, they would destroy our childhood memories and bond with the character, just like they did with Johnny from The Lost MC. Let me know what you think happened to CJ, and if you have any more proof about his whereabouts. This is your boy LS Central. Check in. Out.